Hi Carpentry Addict, welcome again to your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. I am Domingo Freire and today I will show you how to make a small cabinet using my Work Pro cordless screwdriver. First of all we have to know the measurements of the pieces of our project. To make our cabinet we are going to use pieces of melamine 15 mm thick. For this cabinet we will go to use 4 35 mm 90 degrees cup hinges. Two handles that you like the most, if you want it a little more modern or you want a vintage style, it can work perfectly for this project. To join the melamine pieces we are going to use 1 inch long screws and to join the hinges to the melamine we are going to use 6 by 5 8 inch screws. I recommend you use your pocket hole jig to join all the pieces without showing the screws from the outside. And today I'm going to show you an essential tool for your home, the WorkPro 4 volt cordless screwdriver, which comes in this kit with several bits several tips that you are going to see in action today. This cordless screwdriver is a very useful tool for any project at home. It is a simple tool but it will serve you for many daily tasks and it is very easy to use. It has three levels of torque, three levels of force, that with pressing here we can go from the lowest level to the highest levels of power. It is also very simple to use because simply by pressing here we are going to make our tool tight to the screws and pressing here would loosen them. Placing the tips is very easy, simply by placing it in this way we would be ready to work. It also comes with many accessories in its kit. You can see that we have this extension with which we can place any of the tips and use it to put the screws in the pocket holes. And here we have the charger to recharge the battery of our tool. Here you have several of the tips that we use with different kinds of screws and here we have others more than I am sure that you will find where to use them in your future projects. First we are going to attach our cabinet shelf to the back piece. I recommend clamping everything down using 90 degree clamps, corner clamps. Now we are going to attach the bottom piece to the back piece. You can see that all the perforations are on the back. Now we are going to join the top piece with everything we have already assembled. Finally we join the two side pieces.
To make the installation, we are going to use a screw whose tightening tip is a little thicker. The right tip, it is also brought to us by our kit. In this case, it is the PH3. Here you can see that it fits perfectly and this will allow us to tighten it correctly. I recommend you use the third level of torque of the screwdriver to fasten the cabinet to the wall. Now you know this is a great tool to have for your home projects. Remember to click on like, share this video and leave me your comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.